let's talk about name manager how do we use this in microsoft excel for example we have here a sales table and we are required to display the following reports like sum count average max defining the highest value on the sales mean defining the lowest value on the sales okay before anything else inside the formula we need to add an alias or name within our data set. You can highlight cell B3 to B8, click on the name box and type the word sales. Press enter to activate the name. The name sales will be used as part of this spreadsheet. So instead of typing B3 to B8 in the formulas, Alternatively, we can use the name sales. Let me give you an example. To start with, if I need to get the summation of that sales data, all we need to do is to type equal sum, open parenthesis, and type sales. Close parenthesis, and it will get the summation of the values from cell B3 to cell B8. So when I press enter, that is equivalent to 30,300. You can actually check or calculate that manually, but still you will have 30,300 as the total value. Next, for the count, let me type equal count. Open parenthesis, type sales as the content of your formula, and then press enter. We have six because we have six transactions of sales in the table. I need the average value of the sales. Average, that is equal average. Open parenthesis, type sales, and then close parenthesis. Average will display the mean of the value from cell B3 to B8. I need the max value or the highest value on the list of the sales. You can simply type equal max, open parenthesis, and type the word sales, and press enter. And lastly, you can type equal mean to define the lowest value on the list and then press enter. Now, one good advantage of having me manager in your spreadsheet is that it can simplify the way we entered data inside the formula. Instead of having B3 to B8, you can simply use the word sales. Second, let's say for example, the requirement of the report must be displayed in this new worksheet all right let's say in this new worksheet i need the sum of sales coming from the new manager worksheet uh, most of the time what we're doing is that we type equal sum go back to the previous worksheet and highlight the data manually but this time if i need to get the total sales let me type equal sum open parenthesis and type sales close parenthesis it's the same thing that we need to implement press enter and then excel will display the same value of 30300 you don't need to go back and forth from different worksheets if you need to get that data bottom line is when you name it the name is actually universal within the file even though you're working with cross worksheets Excel will now uh, reuse the data and display the same output in the formula. Now, question is, let's say if you receive an email of this file and you try to break down the formula, the question is, where is my data now? If I have equal sum of sales, how can I see or highlight the value of exact value of the sales inside the formula? 
If you need to define the value of the sales, all you need to do is to click on the drop down of the name box and then click the sales button. All right? You have it. Excel will highlight the data of sales in the other worksheet. You don't need to highlight it manually. Again, let me repeat. From this report, click the drop down button of the name box and click on the sales. Excel will highlight the data for you. Okay, some questions like, what if I need to enter more data? Let's say I have seven records of data. We only highlighted six records on this one. How can I highlight or add additional cell for my reference? If you want to modify the rest of the name manager configuration, all you need to do is to click the formulas tab. Under formulas tab, click the name manager button. Name manager button. And then here you can click the new button to add a new set of name manager, edit existing names, or delete existing names. In our case, let me click edit. Let me change the refers to. First, you can delete the existing data in the refers to. Highlight from cell B3, this time up to cell B9. Cell B3 to cell B9. Click OK. And close. Now, if I enter a data in cell B9, let's say I enter 10,000. When I press enter, the report will update automatically because once you click on the formula, sum of sales already include cell B9. Advantage, you don't need to check or change each formula to add one row. Okay, you go back to your data source, you add, a single record on B9, and automatically all formulas that use the sales as name manager will be updated accordingly. You can also look at the next worksheet, sheet one, which is also updated, all right, with the summation of 40,300. And that's it for the name manager.